Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Krishna, happy 50th anniversary of ISKCON. ISKCON just going to celebrate its 50th birthday within a short while and this particular year 2016 has been earmarked for the year-long celebration of this grand occasion. Actually 50 years in the lifespan of an institution, spiritual organization that is meant to spread Krishna consciousness all over the world and remain here for 10,000 years is practically the beginning. And that is why it is so important. Uh, most of the spiritual organizations, soon after the disappearance of their organizer or founder disintegrates. It, that has been the normal trend. But with ISKCON it is different. About 39 years after Srila Prabhupada's disappearance we see that ISKCON not only survived ISKCON is growing. When Srila Prabhupada left the planet, we had about 108 temples around the world. But today we have more than 600 temples around the world. The countries where Krishna consciousness did not reach even during Prabhupada's time, like the Eastern Europe and China. Today we are seeing that in those places Krishna consciousness has become most vibrant. So these are the positive signs of ISKCON's future. Yes, we are facing problems, there is no doubt about it. But the nice thing about these problems is that when they come, they appear like a stumbling block. But then, with the passing of time, when you overcome those difficulties, then they actually become the stepping stones. Ever since Srila Prabhupada's disappearance, ISKCON has faced many, many problems. But we have been able to overcome them. And I hope that we will succeed in overcoming all the problems that will come in course of our spreading this movement. This is a great occasion for us that we are celebrating the 50th anniversary of ISKCON. And I'm confident that all over the world, in every single ISKCON temple, this will become a grand occasion to celebrate. The days may differ in different places, but everywhere it will be celebrated. Our <clears throat> starting point actually was in Calcutta. Last year, 13th August, the day Srila Prabhupada left Calcutta in Jaladuta, we celebrated the 50th anniversary of that grand occasion. Srila Prabhupada left Calcutta to carry Krishna consciousness to America and then from there spread it all over the world. In that celebration we had members, leading members of ISKCON, GBCs, Sannasis, Gurus from different parts of the world. 
we had the celebration in the in a very large indoor stadium which had the capacity of 18000 people and we had the celebration we had two celebrations once in the morning and once in the evening and each time we the the the, the stadium was packed beyond its limit the capacity actually was 18000 but we had more than 20000 people and that was the starting point and it was undoubtedly one of the most successful programs we had in calcutta and now it is being celebrated the day Srila Prabhupada arrived in America, the occasion was celebrated in Boston and there also it was a very, very successful program. So these are the, the successful starting points and now let us take this very, very important project that is going to be celebrated throughout the year 2016 to every single temple of ISKCON which would actually indicate practically every single country in the world. ISKCON hasn't reached, ISKCON may not have reached to every town and village today but ISKCON has reached all the major, all the countries in the world and all the major cities of the world. So <clears throat> let everyone give himself fully to this grand celebration and make it successful so that the people all over the world become aware of the most effective spiritual organization in this world today. Although ISKCON is just in, a, in its infancy. But consider the effect that ISKCON is having all over the world today. Now what to speak of another 50 years? What to speak of another 500 years? What to speak of another 5,000 years? We cannot, the world cannot even imagine what's going to happen. But we can at least have full faith in Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's prediction that this Krishna Consciousness movement is going to spread all over the world in every town and village. Let's have that implicit faith that the words of the Supreme Personality of Godhead can never go in vain. When he said that it's going to spread all over the world in every town and village, it's going to happen. And Bhaktivinoda Thakur more, more precisely defined what it actually meant. He mentioned that not only it will spread all over the world, but all the religions of the world will come under the umbrella of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's teachings. Actually, there is only one religion. And let all these one religion become harmonized in a, in a specific, in a real, in an authentic religion that is Krishna consciousness. And let's try our best to make it happen. It will happen. But let's take an active part, active role in that grand occasion, in that grand happening all over the world. Thank you all very much. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to the 50th anniversary of his song. Krishna Tava Punya Veba Krishna Tava Punya Veba Hey Punya Kori Bejabe